Sky sources say rebel forces supporting Ivory Coast president-elect Alassane Ouattara are closing in on the presidential palace, home to the incumbent leader Laurent Gbagbo. The country has seen violent clashes since last November's elections with international observers fearing the outbreak of civil war. From the capital Abidjan, journalist Monica Mark has sent us this update. It's looking increasingly that um, increasingly unlikely that Laurent Gbagbo can survive this assault, the urban combat that we're seeing at the moment, launched by um, fighters who say they are aligned to Alassane Ouattara's cause. One thing we do have to remember is that uh, Ouattara himself has, has distanced himself from these fighters. He said he doesn't officially sanction them, though they say they are aligned to his cause. It's not immediately clear what the consequences, if these fighters are themselves responsible for, for um, sort of toppling Laurent Bagbo. It's not we can't say at this point in time exactly what would happen after, but the logical um, conclusion would be, given that these people are fighting for Ouattara's cause, that Ouattara would then ascend to power and uh, move into the presidential palace in Abidjan. That was Monica Mark there speaking to us from Abidjan.